The first thing you're going to do is grab by this picture frames 11 by 14 and you're just going to go ahead and turn around and just uh, flip the thing out. Then go ahead and grab the stroke, whichever color you would like. Uh, I would have preferred to do all gold, but they didn't have, but if you find all gold or pink, I think it looks super cute as well. And then just going to go ahead and take your hot glue and start attaching all your straw to the picture frame like that. So you're going to do like three um, on top, um, three on each side. Um, then you're just going to go ahead and do the other side as well. Just go ahead and continue attaching it. Once you attach it, just go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and just cut it out just like that. So you're going to continue um, attaching the straw to your picture frame until you are done doing the whole thing. One thing that I'm going to, I want you guys to make sure to do is to line up the straw because you're going to be able to see that I didn't line up the one on top. So it didn't look up right um, as good as the bottom part. So make sure to line them up all together straight. And then once you do that, just go ahead and grab your light and you're going to attach your light to your straw with hot glue just like that. So just continue doing that. Then go ahead and take one of these little stick and um, attach some hot glue here. I'm using hot glue, but I suggest you guys um, to use um, glass glue or E6000 for better attachment because the hot glue, um, it holds it. But um, if you're going to do a whole day in a party, I don't know if it's going to hold the whole day out. Um, so just make sure to use uh, a better glue on this part. Then go ahead and put the straw on top just like that. And you're going to continue attaching your stick to your glass um, with the glue and then put the straw inside. And then you're going to just use the beads and attach it. And this is how beautiful it turns out. It came out super cute, you guys. You could also put um, paper color at the back, pink, um, blue, whatever color you're doing. Just match it up to the color that you're doing. It's super cute. And when you turn off the light, it looks beautiful because the picture frame lights up. So for the next DIY, I just grabbed two candle holders and I spray painted and go. Then I go ahead and put some hot glue and attach them together just like that. Once you do that, grab this mirror as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the back part out and just use the mirror. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach the mirror to the top of the candle holder just like that. Then I went ahead and grabbed my straw and you could just cut a different size, small, medium, whatever, however you would like um, to look. You could do that as well. And then just go ahead and attach it to the bottom part of your mirror. So you're going to continue attaching your mirror until you do the whole thing out um, on the mirror just like that. Then once you um, attach everything, you're just going to go ahead and take these um, beads. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and attach my crystal to the side of the mirror like that and you're going to go ahead and attach it all the way around until you are done doing the whole thing then once you're done doing the whole thing it will look like that and it came out super cute you guys i love the how it turns out i couldn't imagine how it would look all gold all pink i think this is a very inexpensive and it looks beautiful for the price that you're doing it for so you also can do the 12 inches around mirror i wanted to do it in big so you can also do the set like too small one big if you want the whole setup of your um cupcake stand and this is how cute it turns out guys it looks super cute you can use for cupcake toppers or for a cake it's up to you what you want them to use them for or you can also put the small uh, on top like that and it can make a beautiful cupcake stand and this is how everything turns out, you guys. It came out so beautiful. I hope you guys like it and you give it a try. And if you do, please tag me or let me know how everything turned out. Thank you for watching.